Let's take a look at just cause and due process. Employees regularly overestimate their rights in the workplace. Commonly, employees believe that they have legal protection not to be fired without good reason. Non-union, private sector employees can be terminated for any reason that is not specifically illegal through the use of whatever decision process the employer deems appropriate. However, the distinct legal status of unionized employees comes from language in labor agreements that limits discipline and discharge to situations in which there is just cause. Grievance procedures in unionized workplaces almost always provide for the arbitration of grievances that are not otherwise resolved. Arbitrators determine whether employees have been terminated for just cause. Arbitrators are typically given broad authority. If an arbitrator decides that a discharge was not for just cause, the arbitrator can overturn the disciplinary action or modify it to provide for a lesser penalty. Just cause is clearly a central concept in understanding the legal rights of unionized employees. Arbitrators generally consider the following factors to determine whether employers had just cause to discipline or discharge. Arbitrators are concerned that employees have prior notice that their behavior will be subject to discipline or discharge. Typically, this requires that unionized employers establish rules, standards, and policies that communicate these to employees. Policies become real and enforceable not merely by being formalized and communicated in some fashion to employees, but more importantly by being consistently enforced. Unionized employers must clearly communicate changes in policies before attempting to enforce new, more stringent standards. Although employers have the right to establish rules, arbitrators ask whether challenged disciplinary actions are based on reasonable rules related to efficiency, safety, and other important business purposes. Grievance procedures and arbitration provide for substantial due process following termination. However, arbitrators typically require that elements of due process be present before termination decisions were made. Unionized employers must adequately investigate alleged misconduct, notify employees of charges against them, provide employees with a chance to respond to those charges, and respect the Weingarten rights of employees. To have just cause, the investigation must produce sufficient evidence that the accused employee is actually guilty of wrongdoing. The employer bears the burden of proving a violation. Arbitrators view discipline as corrective rather than punitive. Although some offenses are so serious that they warrant termination following a single occurrence, arbitrators generally expect to see progressive discipline. Progressive discipline entails making a genuine effort to correct undesirable behavior, not just going through the motions and creating a paper trail before terminating an employee. Finally, mitigating factors are considered when imposing discipline. Mitigating factors do not affect the finding that an employee did something wrong, but can cause the arbitrator to reduce the severity of the penalty. Potentially mitigating factors include the employee's past record, length of service, compelling personal or medical problems that might explain the behavior, and situational factors. Unionized employers should carefully consider these just cause factors when making discharge decisions. These criteria provide excellent guidance for making reasonable and legally defensible termination decisions. Unionized employers that fail to substantially meet these criteria can expect that their termination decisions will be challenged and most likely not upheld in arbitration.